Welcome to today's BB15 updates and spoilers. Our house guest of the day is Kristen Marie, and she wants to know who do I want to make the final two and who do I think will make the final two. I would love to see Alyssa and Judd in the final two. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna explain it. Okay, I'll explain it. The rest of them are kind of d-bags, so whatever. All right, who do I think will be in the final two? I think Judd has a good shot. Uh, I think he might be kind of like brushed under the rug for a while, maybe be able to slip by. And same thing with Spencer. I think Spencer, no one's really looking at him right now. He's been put up countless times as um, a pawn, but like I don't think anyone really is looking to get him out right now. So I think he's got a good shot, unfortunately. Alright, so last night, if you missed the episode, it was great. Aaron was evicted. And there's been a lot of talk about Aaron's eviction interview with Julie. I thought Julie handled the inter interview really well. Um, the thing that made it kind of like awkward was the audience like booing and laughing at her answering the questions. But like, I really think that Julie did what she should have done. And I think maybe one criticism, I think it would have been more effective to play back the actual clips of Aaron saying the things that they quoted. Um, so that she straight up could not deny saying it. Because with Julie reading it back, she was just like, um, I don't remember saying those things. Um, you did. So, I just hope that Julie Chen is going to be just as tough on the other bigots in the house. Like Amanda, Gina Marie, and Spencer. I mean, like, pretty much everyone left except maybe Alyssa has said, like, some really offensive things. So, we'll see. Um... The episode ended with the HOH competition still in progress, and they basically had to move these eggs across chicken wire and then, like, pull them out or whatever and bring them to their basket. And the first one with 12 was the winner. So, the feeds didn't come back until after the competition was completely over, but when they did come back, Gina Marie was running around with that key around her neck. So, she was the winner. Um, and Julie also announced that the two like bottom performers in this competition were gonna have to wear chicken suits for two days and those lucky gents were Judd and Spencer so they're walking around in chicken suits today and it's pretty funny I think Judd's is like too big for him or something so it's like off to the side and they're like you're the slutty chicken so um, Amanda was obsessing over Julie's question for her from the live show because Julie was basically like um why do you hate Alyssa so much? Oh wait, no, that was what she asked Aaron. It was something about how she was treating Alyssa because of her whole, like, crazy escapades this week, or last week. So, Amanda's really upset because she can tell she's being portrayed as a bully and she doesn't like it. She's like, Alyssa's the one that's bullying me. Is she insane? I feel like I've said this so many times. I cannot tell if she actually believes what she's saying or if she's just like pushing out propaganda. I can't tell because it kind of seems like she believes what she's saying, which is insane. It's insanity. So Amanda took a little break from her Alyssa bashing to tell Gina Marie what she wants to go down this week. She's like, you will put up Alyssa and Judd and maybe Spencer. So Gina Marie was like, eh, maybe? So Amanda even volunteered to be a replacement nominee if the veto gets used, because she's like, I feel so comfortable going up against Amanda, I mean, going up against Alyssa or Judd that, like, whatever, just put me up. <laughs> what? So when Amanda leaves the room, Gina Marie looks at the camera, starts laughing, and says that Amanda is crazy and going on the block. And I say, yes! <laughs> So Amanda got back to taunting Alyssa pretty quickly, but this time she brought religion into it. She's like, I thought good little religious girls don't lie. What's going on, Alyssa? So apparently Alyssa told Amanda that McCray was looking for her or something, and then Amanda like went to McCray about it, and he was like, no. So she's like, oh my god, Alyssa lied to me about this. That doesn't really seem like a big deal, but she like freaked out. And then she told Alyssa that she's going up on the block. And everyone else in the house is like, is she though? <laughs> so
So obviously Amanda and McRae were the only ones not in on what's happening. So Alyssa is kind of pushing Amanda's buttons, but she's not being crazy about it. So she was talking about how much she loves Jesse and how Jesse was the only 10 in the house and Amanda could not handle it. She freaked out. Amanda, do you really think you're a 10? I'm not gonna go there. So McRae instructs Amanda, act like a victim. Make Alyssa look like the bully. Oh my god, it's so messed up. So. McRae also says, who cares what America thinks about you? Who cares how you're being portrayed? F America. Oh, McRae. You had so much potential in the beginning, but it didn't turn out so great. I have hair in my mouth. So, <laughs> then it was time for Gina Marie's HOH room reveal. So she got lots of pictures of her family. She got a Britney Spears CD. Uh, she got some fresh underwears, nail polish, snacks, teeth whitening that only cost a dollar, and a letter from her mom. But it's unclear whether or not she got her hair dye. I'm thinking they're going to give it to her later in the week because Alyssa already agreed to help her with that. So you know Alyssa's safe for the week. As long as she's there to do Gina Marie's hair. And last but not least, she got a new photo of Nick. But thank God it wasn't one that Nick posted on Instagram lately of him hanging out with, I think her name is Liza or something from Big Brother Canada, who was like slurring it up on her own season. So I don't know if they're dating or what, but Gina Marie would not have been happy with that. Um, so more Gina Marie news. She fell down the HOH stairs this morning and it sounds like she hurt her foot or her toe or something. Um, but they really need to start a tally of how many times Gina Marie's gotten hurt in the Big Brother house this season. Um, so Julie mentioned during the live show that there would be some sort of like special competition this week and it happened today. It was some sort of luxury thing. I don't know that much about it yet but I do know that there were all these like confetti filled balloons around the house and the house guests had to like pop them and there was confetti everywhere and I know that Spencer won $10,000 I don't know if that was the only prize or if there were punishments or anything, but I haven't heard about it yet, so that may have been the only thing. But um, the best part was that the house guests had to clean it all up, so that's fun. And I don't know if they even had a shop back because they were complaining about that. I don't know if they got it in the end or not. But Amanda says that she's over everything. She doesn't want any part of this, and McRae is so over her. <laughs> he can't take it anymore. Um, but then Amanda kind of like pulled herself together and went and talked to Gina Marie and offered her a Final Four deal with her, McRae, and Andy. And Gina Marie was kind of like, uh, yeah, okay, whatever, I'll do it. Uh, she wants Gina Marie to put up Alyssa and Judd. And again, Gina Marie's kind of like playing along with it. It's only going to make the nomination ceremony that much better. Which happened today. Um, I can't wait to see this play out on TV because this is the first time in a while I think that we've had like a blindside nomination. I can't remember the last time this happened. I mean, I'm sure it has before, but it's been a while. Usually people have at least some sort of idea that they're going up, but Amanda was so completely blind about this. It's gonna be good. <laughs> I can only imagine what happened during that ceremony. So again, I repeat, Amanda and McRae are on the block. It has finally happened. And I can't believe that Gina Marie was the one to finally do it. So Amanda is having a meltdown as we speak. Um, the nomination ceremony just ended a little while ago, and she's all, It doesn't make sense! She must have the numbers to get rid of one of us! Uh, duh! No one wants you! So then she was saying that she would rather go this week instead of McRae, and... Um, I think that's because she doesn't want McRae to be alone with all the girls in jury. Because she said that many times. How she was like, I'm going to definitely go before McRae. He's going to stay and go to final two. Uh, so <laughs> we'll see what happens with that. But then Amanda started yelling at Gina Marie. She's like, we weren't coming after you. And Gina Marie was like, uh, what happened last week when you were trying to get me up on the block? It's not like Alyssa didn't tell me that. I know what happened last week. So Amanda must be really like out of her mind to think that she's completely innocent in all of this. So 
Then Amanda threatens that everyone's going to be coming after Gina Marie, and I'm sure Gina Marie is shaking in her boots. No. Um, but seriously, this is what the house wants. The house wants what the house wants. And this is what the house wants. So it's going to be an awesome week. <laughs> and if you get TV Guide Network, I would highly recommend watching Big Brother After Dark tonight because I think there's going to be some fireworks. And I'll talk about them tomorrow. So until then, much love. Oh.